I am Mark Stewart. This is a short piece about the Trump pardons for those three military officers. Short because I generally don't talk foreign policy, and I don't even consider this to be foreign policy. This is really domestic management, the management that the commander-in-chief does for the military. And I'm ignorant of so many aspects of military work, but I do know this. The military has a system that is fair to its officers. It has at least the same number of protections for innocent people as civil courts here do. Trump has circumvented the system whereby a fair tribunal is penalizing these people. And men in their own units testified against them. They testified about how they were out of line, not only for one incident, but multiple incidents. That's a sign of somebody who is unfit to stay in the military. Now, whether to stay in prison for 10 years or more, that might be too harsh of a punishment. But that's where diplomacy, I think, has a place. And a president who, whether out of feelings or getting some more political vapors from being on the side of some one military guy, could have negotiated. Certainly, he could have said, look, I'm going to threaten a pardon. You should be doing this on your own without my having to take that drastic step. I think you would end up with the win-win of people doing their time, but not an excessive amount. Restoring them to a good status. Because right now, their cases are back in the public, in the limelight, over and over and over again. So, yes, free, but with excoriation that they're going to have a hard time living down. There are better ways to have ended this. Right now, this is ongoing, and it's going to, in the long run, hurt military discipline. You need the backing of your military, and the Trump Pentagon did not want these pardons. Most of the people in the same command as each of three, these three servicemen did not believe that they should be exculpated. When a president loses the majority of his own military, he loses the ability to fight when it is counted on. No one man can fight a war, even Donald Trump. Okay? He needs the backing. And I think he's just done something to lose long-term backing among servicemen who do believe in a proper code of justice that has just been circumvented. I'm Mark Stewart.